Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 10. Today we are using the area model and applying it to uh, finding area. Uh, in this case we have a, a rectangle and we've broken it up into full units. So here we have one unit, two unit, and then another half unit. So this whole thing would be two and a half units. Two and a half feet, two and a half meters, two and a half centimeters, whatever it would apply. In this direction, we only we have two units as well, uh, and so we have something here that is um, two and a half units long by two units wide, and my area there is going to be five units. Now uh, we can do that by counting. We can look at this and we can say there's one, two, three, four units total right here, and then I have a half plus a half is another whole unit, which gives me five. If I were to do the math, I could do two and one half times two, which is the same as five halves times two, and those would simplify. Now I get five units as well. This kind of problem isn't too bad, but it often throws students for a loop. I have a rectangle that has a perimeter of 35 and a half feet. So it's important to know what perimeter is. It's the distance all the way around, as if you were building a fence. What's the length of fence that went around here? That would be perimeter. How far would you run if you ran around the outside? That would be running the perimeter. In this case, the perimeter is 35 and one half feet. I know it's a rectangle, so this side is equal to that side, this side is congruent to that side, and it says the length is 12. So we're going to call this the length. I don't know if it is or not. So that's 12, which means this is 12. So 12 feet plus 12 feet plus the width plus the width is equal to 35 and one half feet. Well, 24 needs to be taken away from that, and I know that my width uh, plus another width is going to equal what's left over. 35 and one half minus 24 is going to be 11 and a half feet. So I need to break 11 and a half in half. Well, um, I can do that. I can do that in a number of ways. I'm looking at 11 and a half, um, and 11 and a half is 5 and a half, and a half and a half is a quarter. So I'm going to get 5 and 3 quarters. I could do that with numbers as well. I could do 11 and a half divided by 2 which is the same as 22, 23 halves times a half, which is 23 fourths, which equals 5 and 3 fourths. Get the same answer. So that's what my width is. Now that's not the question. The question is what is the area? And I know area is length times width. So area is going to be 12 times 5 and 3 quarters stay true to this lesson, I built an area model of that. I, in fact, have my 12 times my 5 and 3 quarters. And so the area of this whole part here is 5 times 12, which is 60. And then this area here is going to be 12 times 3 quarters. Or 9. So my area is going to equal 69. Uh, in this case, we have feet squared. I also could do 12 without the area model. I could do um, 5 and 3 fourths times 12. That's going to be 23 fourths times 12. And I can cross-reduce, 
And that's going to also give me 69 uh, feet squared. So there you go. That's how that's done. And uh, that's all for today.